Angles in two-dimensional figures. Remember that angles are formed by two rays sharing the same endpoint. But since line segments can be seen as part of rays, then angles can also be formed when two line segments share the same endpoint. Remember also the types of angles. We have right angles, acute angles, and obtuse angles. Don't forget that two-dimensional figures are shapes that have two dimensions like length and width, but no thickness or depth. Sometimes they are called plane shapes. Let's take a look at the following two-dimensional figure. As you can see, there are several angles in this figure. Can you classify them depending on their types? Starting with right angles, can you see any? Let's use our model for the right angle to find out. If we take the angle BED and compare it with our model, we will find that this angle fits with the model. So this is the first right angle. What about the angle BCD? It looks like a right angle, but let's double check using our model. Again, the model fits. So the angle BCD is a right angle too. There is also the angle EBC and the angle EDC. Both of them are right angles and our model fits with both of them. What about acute angles? Can you see any angles that appear to be smaller than a right angle? There is the acute angle AEB and the angle ABE. Both of them are smaller than a right angle. Finally, can you locate any obtuse angles in this figure? Are there any angles that appear to be larger than a right angle? Well, there is the angle EAB. The opening between the two line segments EA and AB is larger than a right angle. In this lesson, you learned how to identify angles in two-dimensional figures.